Hi, Scott Carter from Heretical Srafa here. I want to relay to you a story that happened to me, and this is especially addressed to younger scholars out there, junior faculty, graduate students, those are the people who are interested in, in taking the analysis, especially heterodox theory and classical theory and Srafa and, and the post keynesian theory, Marxian theory, the whole nine, taking it further and, and moving beyond the limitations that I think um, that I think that we are currently in with respect to uh, with respect to many aspects of, of of economic scholarship, both orthodox and heterodox. I think we can uh, we, we owe it to ourselves to do better, and I think the younger generation needs to take it upon themselves to um, to question everything and to and to not be afraid to 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 go ahead and, and take things and to do things and to take chances. And that I guess that's my bottom line here. In I first went to the Srafa papers in, uh, in summer of 2005. I was given a research grant by Rollins College uh, in Winter Park, Florida. I was a visiting assistant professor at Rollins College. The faculty were great. Uh, the, the college was great. Even as a visitor, they allowed me to apply for, an, uh, for a faculty grant that allowed me to, uh, to go and make my first trip to the Wren Library in 2005. While there, I spent three weeks at the archive. Uh, I transcribed about 181 pages. That was generally the modus operandi that I, that I engaged in before February of 2013, when Lord Eatwell granted me permission to image the material. Prior to that time, uh, I would go to the archive and, and just transcribe. I was basically a monk. <laughs> I would go to this castle, to Wren Library, to Trinity College, and I would get the archival material. You couldn't photograph it. You couldn't photocopy it. You couldn't do it. All you could do was transcribe it. And so in 2005, I got 181 pages of that. And that was in, 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 uh, in summer 2005. I, uh, in fall of 2006, I started in, as a newly minted assistant professor at the University of Tulsa in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I currently have my position. And while there, I was, uh, I was contemplating on the experience that I had in Cambridge. And the inquiry that I was looking at was the relationship of Sraf I had to Marx and what we could get through the archival evidence. And what I was able to uncover, in my opinion, in 2005 was a strong connection to the Marxian theory of exploitation. This is not a video to talk about that. I can refer you to the work, and this is an ongoing discussion. Believe me, I'm not telling you how to think about Srafa. Read my work and others' works as well, and make the decisions for yourself. However, I, I, I was frustrated a bit at, 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 at how, how, um, how very few people knew about Srafa, and so I decided, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and give Professor Samuelson a call. He was alive at the time, old, he was 92, but he was alive. And so I don't know Professor Samuelson. We all know Professor Samuelson, but I don't know him. I'm just a lowly assistant professor. So I, uh, I called up uh, information, 411, Cambridge, Massachusetts, 411, uh, uh, the, could I have the number? They answered. I said, could I have the number of Paul Anthony Samuelson, please? And they gave me the number. <laughs> so I called it, and then ring, ring, ring. Hello, Professor Samuelson? Yeah. Oh, wow, he answered the phone, right? Yeah. Uh, professor Samuelson, uh, my name is Scott Carter. Uh, I'm an assistant professor of economics at the University of Tulsa. Do you think Srafa was a Marxist? Wow amazing conversation I had with that man. He was smitten. He, well, I don't know if smitten is the right word. He was, uh, he, he, he was just elated. He, he, he was just completely enamored that anyone would want to approach this topic. He, he, you know, we had a, I had, must have had a 15 minute long discussion with him. Uh, uh, at the time, we were organizing a panel session on Srafa and Marx at the Eastern Economics Association, which was to appear in, uh, uh, which was, was to be in 2007, the following year in February in New York City. And so I asked Professor Samuelson, I said, Professor Samuelson, to, would you like to be on my panel? I'm putting the panel together, and, and on that panel were Stefano Perry uh, uh, and Ricardo Belfiore. And, and, and I said, would you like to be on my panel on, on Trafa and Marx? And, and he said, I'll think about it. And uh, uh, this was in September. This is the first week of September in 2006. And then on the 19th of September, 2006, I get a nice letter from Professor Samuelson. It's here. I'm going to post this on my website, okay? So you don't have to look at it here. It's, it's signed by his secretary, but it's by him. It's, it's, it's Professor Samuelson. And it says, Dear Professor Carter, 
Uh, my overburdened research commitments preclude my participating in the February 2007 Eastern Economics Association on Srafa. Good luck. I, he was 93 at the time and his overcommitted research agenda. Well, I was really encouraged by that. I, I thought that, well, this is great. I, I got the attention. But I'm not a guy who's easily daunted or not a guy who's easily, uh, easily, easily quits, I should say. So I couldn't get Samuelson, so I said, okay, what the heck? Let, let me see about his buddy Solo, right? So, you know, so I called up to the MIT Economics Department and I asked the secretary for Professor Solo. And the secretary said, were, were you the one who called Professor Samuelson, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago? And I said, yeah, that was me. And, uh, and, he, and, and the secretary said, well, well, Professor Solo heard about that and would like for you to contact him. I said, okay, I'd love to. Well, well he's out in Martha's Vineyard. Said, okay, all right. So I, she gave me the number from Martha's Vineyard. I arranged a time, uh, a mutually convenient time to, uh, to, uh, to call him. So at the time, at the appointed time, I called a Professor Solo and, and, uh, on Martha's Vineyard. And, and you got to talk loud. Professor Solo was kind of hard of hearing. And we're wonderful. Oh, my God. And, uh, and so I pick up the phone, and I said, Professor Solo, this is Scott Carter, uh, assistant professor in Tulsa. I, do, you th and do you think Srafa was a Marxist? I asked the same question. And he was waiting for my call. He, he, he was like, he, he, and, and his wife, who was alive at the time, uh, and evidently uh, Professor Solo and his wife were very close. Uh, and uh, I heard her in the background hollering, hollering, tell him about Gramsci, tell him about Gramsci. And he's like, going, yeah, 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 it's about and it was so wonderful. It was such a wonderful experience. I, I, I have to admit, uh, we had an interesting conversation. Uh, I asked him, uh, would you be on the session for me in, uh, in New York City? He said, yes. He said he'd do it. And he came. And he showed up. And he actually showed up. And now, I don't agree with him. And he didn't have any. He and I didn't agree on the, uh, uh, on the nature of the, of the subject matter. But he, he read my paper. And he gave me comments. And and. and and, and that he would do so, I think, was, was, was very interesting. And, and uh, I eventually got the exchange published. And these are the comments that he had. And you can see this. Again, not to plug my book or, or my article. It's in, uh, it's in uh, Research in Political Economy by uh, uh, Paul Zaremka is the editor. It was in 2014. I, I got it out seven years later. Uh, my article, so, uh, Solo's comment, as well as the response of Solo. And, and you can read that for, for the... For the uh, for the, uh, the, the subject there. I'm not plugging my book so much. I'm not worried. I mean, the article so much. You can, whether you agree or not is, 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 is a different issue. I think what's important, and this, again, I, I, I take to the undergrad, I, to, the, um, to the junior faculty and to the uh, graduate s s uh, students there, and is to take chances. And, 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 and it's for the following reason. Here you had one of the uh, two of the, the, the most brilliant economists, two Nobel Prize winners, you know, th who I got the engagement of and the active participation from one. And who am I? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just a, an assistant professor. I, you know, I'm not I'm no different from anyone else, you know, I, with the exception that I'm asking interesting questions. And these interesting questions got the attention and got the engagement of two Nobel Prize winners, two of the most brilliant and whether you agree with them or not, influential and, 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 and uh, uh, important uh, 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 founders of, of, of economic science. And because I have an interest in Srafa and know things that most people are not, at, are not asking anymore, I got their interest. Now this is important because here you begin to see the, uh, the, the importance of our endeavor and where we can take it. So I want to relay this story to you. I'll put this uh, the Samuelson letter up on my blog, okay? So you'll be able to see that. And, uh, and, and let this just kind of, you know, let junior faculty and, and, and younger faculty and all faculty and everybody to, to, to follow your dream and to, and to take it and to just and don't take no for an answer. Don't be afraid to call up Professor Samuelson because she was really nice. All right? See you online. Ciao.